discovered in 1601 on the beautiful northwestern Cape Coast, the Port of Saldona today represents a perfect harmony of the strictest environmental awareness, health and safety implementation and highly innovative and efficient technical engineering. South African Port Operations, SAPA, began in 1969 the task of planning and developing South Africa's only iron ore handling port. To date, 500 million tonnes of iron ore has been exported since the first iron ore consignment in 1976. 920 million rands worth of planned expansions will increase iron ore exports from 23.5 million tonnes to 41 million tonnes per annum by the year 2012 and further plans to handle 90 million tonnes by the year 2015. The port currently accommodates plus minus 600 ships annually for the loading alone. Conquering environmental issues whilst establishing an iron ore terminal of such magnitude in an environmentally sensitive area necessitated some innovative ideas and solutions. SAPA deserves recognition for the hard work, persistence and dedication of their management team because despite these overwhelming challenges, SAPA Saldana have been the first port in Africa to receive the highest environmental rating possible, an ISO 14001 environmental certificate. An extensive environmental impact assessment preceded all proposed expansions and refurbishments. The gigantic task of filling in the sea to use for port facilities and ore storage as opposed to disrupting the sensitive local environment. Bridging off the sea bottom to create land area as well as provide adequate depth for safe cargo shipping. Controlling, restricting and preventing the enormous amount of red dust that originates from moving and storing iron ore. Solutions include Fully housed tipler stations, each with large dust extraction systems to completely eliminate dust from the 8,000 tons of ore dumped each hour. Highly advanced conveyor chute and transfer point design eliminates dust in traditionally problem areas. Belt and overs assist in belt cleaning and reduce dust from the return belt travel as the dirty side of the belt is turned topside to prevent spillage along the return route of the overland conveyors. 600 cubic meters of water is pumped at 10 bar pressure through more than 5 km of sprinkler piping each hour to control dust from the stockpiles. Consideration is being given to covering all exposed conveyor belts. A dedicated interest in finding a solution to moving the local oyster beds. Strict deballasting regulations include quality checks on all water expelled from vessels. The last one meter is not allowed to be discharged at the port. No oil cargo movement is permitted to take place without pollution control booms in place. Phases of construction. Phase one, currently in progress, includes refurbishing the current 30 year old conveyor system. The replacement of two existing stacker reclaimers and introducing a third stacker reclaimer and two new stockpiles. Introducing a second 8,000 ton per hour tipler station with supporting conveyor system. Two existing shiploaders will also be completely replaced. Phase 1A will include new conveyor CV01, enabling direct rail tipler to ship loading, thereby reducing the number of transfers and the associated environmental impact issues. Also to assist in speeding up the loading process, a new sampling building will be constructed to allow dual loading to the existing ship loading facility. Phase 2A New CV119, 219 and 120 plus a fourth stack reclaimer now onto the landfilled oyster pond area enables feeding of two new stockpiles and the extensions of CV113 and 213 will enable reclaiming. Phase 2B includes a third tipler station and new supporting conveyor CV309. 
stockpile bypass conveyors CV02 and CV310 with the four position moving head. Following further oyster pond filling, new conveyors CV318, 319, 322, 122, 222 and 121 and a fifth stacker reclaimer along with the further extensions of CV113 and 213 enable stacking and reclaiming of two new stockpile areas. To increase the ship loading weight, new CV128 and 130 will feed new radial ship loader 03. Phase 2C A fourth tipler station and new conveyor CV409 and 410 with three position moving heads will increase the rail or flating rate. New conveyors CV125 and 126 along with the extensions to 120 and 121 feed new stacker reclaimers 6 and 7 and four new stockpiles. CV113 and CV213 will at this stage be reduced to their original length. Reclaiming and shiploading from these new stockpiles as well as all previous stage two additions will be greatly increased by new conveyors CV313, 413, 414, 129 and 131 and new radial shiploader 04. SAPA has ensured that it balances social and economic needs with long-term conversion and management of resources, said Port Manager at the Port of Saldana, Eugene Kearns. SAPA, your leading terminal service supply in port operations.